Okay, this is a Viking, vintage Viking model, 2841. Um, not exactly sure how old this machine is. I'm thinking it's actually, yes, I can tell you how old it is. She bought it in December of 1978. Original purchase receipt and warranty certificate. Um, and she paid $250 for it. And the carrying case was extra. So, and it was serviced in January of this year and just serviced again. And it is ready to work. It has basically 18 built-in stitches. It's kind of different than the 6000 series machines. It does not have the insertable cams. It has all the stitches built in. Um, it has reverse and stretch stitches as well as regular decorative stitches and straight and zigzag. It has an automatic buttonholer built in. It has adjustable needle position. Most of this is all controlled right here. This is your central control knob. And it's kind of, it takes a few minutes to read and figure out, but after you get it figured out, it's pretty, pretty common sense stuff. Of course, it's a convertible machine, meaning that this bed slides off. And it becomes a free arm. And here's your bobbin access. Pretty cool. It has the high shank, snap on, snap off feet. Put the bed back on. And it's pretty cool. The accessories store right here in the end of the bed in a little drawer. And it has all kinds of feet and goodies, bobbins, screwdrivers, um, all kinds of goodies in there. And the bolt, I believe, mounts the machine to a table if you'd want to mount it. Door slides right back in to the end of the bed. It does also include the suitcase type carrying case with keys for the locks. It's in good working condition. Run through a few stitches for you. Light build in light. Right now it's in the center needle position. Very nice smooth machine. Change it to reverse patterns. Um, you have to hold this lever down and turn your stitch length knob all the way around. You'll hear it engage, and that engages your reverse. So now we can choose some reverse patterns on the knob up here. Let's see, let's do a funky one. Okay. You'll see the fabric working up and back. Do so one in reverse or the stretch stitches. You just don't want to forget to take it out of stretch mode after you're done. It's a really cool design. You will get the original instruction manual with the machine, so you don't have to figure out all this on your own. Very, very neat. This is the reverse stitch that it just did. Very, very nice balance stitch. Now to kick it out of reverse mode, you just hold this lever down again, and you spin the knob the opposite way, and you feel it kick out of reverse. Pick all your designs up here. Um, the dark brown designs are regular, the white designs are stretch. This is left, center, right needle positions. Your buttonhole is here, and this little red window is your indicator. That's basically the, what you're doing. But it's a very nice machine cosmetically. No real paint loss, scratches, damage, or anything. Um, metal and plastic combination. And it does have feed dog drop also here. That is the Viking Teresa model 2841.